بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کلاس سکس امیزنگ سائنس یونٹ ٹو لیونگ آرگینزم فسٹ آف آل وٹ از لیونگ آرگینزم اینی تھنگ وچ ہیو دا ایبلٹی آف گروتھ ریپروڈکشن نیوٹریشن ایکسکریشن سینسیٹیوٹی موومنٹ اینڈ لوکو موشن سچ کائنڈ آف تھنگ دیٹ ول بی کال لیونگ آرگینزمس نو وٹ از سیل Cell is a structure and function unit of all living organism. What does it mean structure and function? It means that all living organism body that is composed of cells. So cells are their building blocks. And function, function means that all the function that is performed by a living organism that will be carried out by the cells. Now on the basis of the number of cells, the organism are divided into two groups. unicellular organism and multicellular organism unicellular organisms these are the organism which consist of one cell like the example is amoeba you can see here in this diagram this is an amoeba and this is a second a single cell organism Uh, other organisms they are called multicellular organisms multicellular organism have millions of cell in their body like human being No, a structure of a typical cell. A typical cell consists of these uh, three parts, uh, sorry, four parts, main four parts, cell membrane, cytoplasm, cell organelles, and nucleus. Uh, let explain these uh, parts of the cell through a diagram. Uh, you can see here a typical uh, cell First of all, the plasma membrane. Around the cell, there is a thin envelope that cover the whole cell and that is called plasma membrane. So you can see here, this is the plasma membrane that surround the whole cell. This is the plasma membrane. This is also called cell membrane. Inside the cell, there is a gel-like substance that is called cytoplasm. And in the center, there is a round body okay that is called nucleus between the plasma membrane and nucleus this is cytoplasm and this is a gel like substance in the cytoplasm there are small small bodies they are present you can see here these small bodies and these are called cell organelles there are different kinds of cell organelles some of uh, them uh, are uh, shown here This is mitochondria. Uh, it help uh, in the respiration of the cell and provide energy. It is a filamentous shape. Uh, this is a endoplasmic reticulum. This is a Golgi complex. Uh, it help in uh, vital reactions. Uh, centriole. It help in the uh, cell division. There are also some round bodies. They are filled with the uh, some fluid or solution that is called vacuole like one of the kind of vacuole that is a lysosome in the center this is the nucleus this nucleus this also is surrounded by a thin membrane that is called nucleon membrane and inside the nucleus there are thread like structure that are called chromosome and this chromosome it is made of a nucleic acid and that is called dna and dna is called deoxyribonucleotide uh, sorry uh, deoxyribonucleic acid dna and inside dna there are genes so this whole cell that is controlled by these chromosomes and sometime it is also called the heart of the cell because it, it, it uh, control all the activity of the cell No, there is a little bit different between the plant cell and animal cell. And uh, these, uh, there are two kinds of cell. This cell, this is an animal cell and this cell, this is a plant cell. Uh, in animal cell, the outermost covering that is cell membrane. But in plant cell, the outermost covering that is cell wall. This is the cell wall, this outermost covering that is the cell wall. And beneath this cell wall, the plasma membrane is present. Uh, another difference that is in the, the in the animal cell the nucleus present in the center 
and in the plant cell the nucleus is present on one side this is because of vacuole in the animal cell there is a large vacuole that is present in the center while in animal cell there may be some smaller vacuole and they are dispersed in the uh, cytoplasm another difference is also there that is a cell organelle that is called chloroplast you can see here okay and this chloroplast the uh, process uh, that is called photosynthesis they take place this cell organelle is absent in the animal cell because animal cell cannot prepare their own food now the next topic date is a root system in plant so first of all that what is root a uh, root is actually this is the part of the plant that is uh, present below the soil uh, that hold a plant firmly in the soil there are two kinds of root tap root and fibrous root let's explain these two kinds of root with the help of example you can see here that these are the tap root and this is a fibrous root a tap root uh, have one large main root you can see here with several small root branching off from it and these are small branches that are arise from the main root and such kind of root system is called tap root like in carrot radish and turnip another kind of root that is called fibrous root and fibrous root uh, there are uh, many small root of the same size that are arising from the plant so these are the same size and such kind of root is called fibrous root and such kind of root are present in wheat and grasses there is also a protective covering on the tip of the root that is called root cape and this protect the sensitive growing points of the root now shoot system and plant the stem branches and the leaf above the soil this form the shoot system of the plant bud bird you can see these are the birds the bird that is the part of the plant from where a new branch arises or it sprout into a flower note this is a stalk or the portion through which the leaf date is attached with the stem so you can see here this is node this is another node and the distance between two node that is called inter node what is shrub if the stem if the stem remains short with a lot of branches then it is called shrubs what are trees trees these are the plant with thick stem like you can see here a thick stem it is also called such kind of plants they are called trees and this is the end of the first lecture of unit 2 thank you